I've lost track of the number of times I've been in presentations over the last few years in which I've listened to technology vendors entreating the audience to believe that their technology is the answer to all the problems in surveillance. Indeed, it is my view that the markets are currently spoilt for choice on surveillance technology with no less than five major vendors and a wide array of ancillary providers. While it's tempting for those charged with the task of identifying market infractions to believe that technology is the answer to their prayers, in fact, arguments over this or that technology, in fact, put the cart before the horse. All discussions of market surveillance need to start with what data is available to go into the technology in the first place. For example, if you can't identify the person actually behind an order or, or trade, there is little chance that you will be successful in identifying insider trading or market manipulation, irrespective of which technology vendor you use. Indeed, this explains the key problem with all surveillance systems today, namely the abundance of false positives. In turn, this explains why regulators are often gun-shy about going to brokers to ask for client-level data because so many leads turn out to be false positives. And in turn, conviction rates are lower, which leads to criticism of regulatory performance and a lack of confidence in the system generally. Another good example of missing data is evident in the fact that in most markets, brokers are not required to add a condition code to an order to identify when they are trading as principal or as agent. Even when brokers do put a condition code on their orders, one often finds that all trading is done as principal and later booked out to clients, making it almost impossible to identify front running without the surveillance system having access to booking data as well, which it seldom does. The upshot of this lack of relevant data means in effect that the three key prohibited trading behaviours that should be outcomes of a surveillance system, namely insider trading, market manipulation and broker-client conflict, of which front running is a key example, cannot reasonably be estimated, and no amount of technology is going to fix this problem. Given that market fairness can be defined as the extent to which market participants engage in prohibited trading behaviours, the inability to properly estimate insider trading, market manipulation, etc. has wider policy implications because we can't then properly measure market fairness. Without the ability to develop meaningful measures of market fairness, regulators cannot live up to their mandate of ensuring that markets and changes thereto pass the dual tests of fairness, let alone efficiency. In short then, there is currently far too much emphasis on surveillance technology and not enough emphasis on securing the right data for the surveillance task. I'm reminded of the saying, garbage in, garbage out. While there is no doubt that technology can make a difference at the margin, in truth, simple networking technology invented more than 20 years ago could accomplish the task if the data fed into the system was fit for purpose. It's not. However, good news is that things are changing. In this respect, it's worth noting that the Australian securities regulator, ASIC, will from October of 2014 require all orders to have client identifiers on them. It will also require meaningful information on when brokers are trading as principal and agent. Given that integrity challenged individuals currently engaged in these pursuits are unlikely to know of these changes, I predict that 12 months on from this change, the number and range of cases of market infractions will rise precipitously in Australia. Not because there has been any change in the number of incidents or the purchase of new technology, but because of the ability to identify market infractions will be much improved as a result of this new data. In time, this should significantly enhance the fairness of the Australian marketplace and provide a salutary lesson for other markets on the critical importance of securing the appropriate data for the important task of market surveillance.